Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number one of the Chelsea career mode here on FIFA 15. This is going to be the first of many different series we'll be doing throughout the next 12 months on this game. Hopefully you will enjoy each and every one of them. If you do enjoy this video, then feel free to hit that like button. If we could hit over 500 on the first episode of the first career mode we've done on FIFA 15, that would be absolutely superb. And of course, if you do enjoy and you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any of this series. There's going to be a My Player series starting later on tonight as well and uh, we'll have some ultimate team content thrown in there alongside both of those career mode series to start the year off if you don't know what and when i upload there is a schedule in the description that will let you know exactly when to expect videos from me two videos every single day for the rest of the year hopefully that is the plan at least so chelsea we're starting here i decided not to take the 60 percent transfer budget boost because well we just don't need it we've got 40 million to spend anyway and that should be plenty enough to go along with well the sheer wealth of talent that we already have at the club so I am going to be looking for additions in a couple of certain positions and we'll go through those as we get to the specific point of the video. But of course the first thing you have to do is see what the board expect of you. And they would like us, unfortunately, well not necessarily unfortunately, perhaps unsurprisingly, to win the Domestic Cup, which is either the FA Cup or the League Cup. We have the chance, two chances in fact, to uh, to fulfil that particular criteria. For some reason the, uh, the head coach or assistant manager thinks that I should look for a striker, despite having Diego Costa, Loic Remy, and Didier Drogba at the club with Fernando Torres out on loan. So I'm uh, not really too sure whether we need a striker, but the uh, the league ambition is, of course, as expected, to win the league title, which hopefully we should be able to do. Starting out on world class, we will step it up to legendary a little bit later on once I've gotten used to the new engine, etc. Of course, it, it does feel slightly different to FIFA 14, so it might take a little while to get used to it. So, of course, we'll go through the friendlies, test out the squad and different formations, different players, etc. And hopefully we can get some good results to lead us into that opening Burnley fixture, full of confidence to take on the Barclays Premier League for the 2014-2015 uh, season. In our European group, we've got uh, Ajax, Besiktas and Paris Saint-Germain. So we should be uh, expecting to progress out of that group quite comfortably. Whether we'll finish top or not depends on how we do home and away against the Parisians. But still, we should be OK for uh, progressing through to the knockout stages of European competition as well. And we'll find out in due course what uh, the expe expectation is of the board for us for that particular competition although you probably expect them to expect us to win it so we'll, we'll be trying to win as many competitions as we possibly can as you can see starting off with a 4-3-3 formation as opposed to the default 4-2-3-1 as uh, that's the formation I found most uh, most fun to use and uh, my most effective formation to use when playing with Chelsea on the demo. Of course, we'll test it out throughout the uh, the process of pre-season and the early fixes against the uh, the new promoted sides in Burnley and Leicester to try and you know nail down what is our best eleven and best formation. And as you can tell and see, we do have quite good depth at the squad. This uh, particular team management screen doesn't show the players that are currently out on loan as well, of which there are a few. Uh, unfortunately, Josh McEachran, Thomas Callas and uh, Nathaniel Chalabar uh, are out on loan in real life, but appear to be permanent transfers on this specific uh, squad update. So I'm not really too sure what's going on there. But uh, as you can see, we're, we're going to have a quick look at who is at the club and uh, where we perhaps need to grow. Like I say, I'm looking for transfers in some specific uh, positions, one of which is centre-back. Uh, we have Terry Cahill and, uh, of course, Kurt Zuma. Nathan Ake I'll be sending out on loan, hopefully, so he can get some first-team experience. Branislav Ivanovic can play at centre-back, but I would prefer to bring someone else in. Uh, we brought in Rafael Varane last year as the best centre-back for Chelsea, and I'm looking to sign someone different this time around, so feel free to leave me some suggestions in the comment section for that. I am looking for a wing-back as well, whether that be left or right. I'm not really too concerned. We can play wing-backs on either side in career mode. It doesn't really matter. So I am looking for a wing-back. We signed Mattia De Chilio last year, so I'm hoping perhaps for some alternate suggestions in that particular position as well. Striker-wise, we're pretty set with the three that we've got already. Although, of course, Didier Drogba will probably retire at the end of this season, perhaps. So we'll be looking for a new striker for next season. So that isn't an initial concern. Same with attacking midfielders. We uh, we have players like uh, Marine and uh, Torgan Hazard out on loan and uh, Marco Van Ginkel in that holding role. Perhaps looking for a holding midfielder. I might move John Obi Mikel on 
and uh, bring in someone to be rotation with Ramirez, Matic and Fabregas until, of course, Marco Van Ginkel comes back from loan at the end of this season. So we've got plenty of players in certain positions, but we're perhaps looking for that extra little bit of class in the rotation options. Our first 11 is extremely strong, and uh, in the offensive side of things, we are particularly good when it comes to squad depth as well, with players like uh, Hazard, Willian, Scherler, Oscar, and then, of course, players to come back from, uh, from loan like uh, Christian Atsu, and of course, in the striking position, we're pretty strong as well with Costa, Lurk, Remy and Didier Drogba. So this is basically an introduction episode. The next few will, of course, be longer, although I'm trying to manage my uh, my six hours of the uh, of the early access as best I can. But of course, once the full game is out, we will definitely be back up to uh, to the full length 10 plus minute videos for, uh, for each and every career mode episode. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Of course, feel free to uh, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and feel free to like the video as well. Let me know in the description, not in the description, in the comment section as many players as you like for a potential transfers of course feel free to hit me up on twitter on facebook and on instagram as well as you can see on the end slate i'll be taking as many suggestions on there as well as you you perhaps might want to throw at me and of course if you want to stay bang up to date with everything that happens on the channel whether it's this series the my player series any ultimate team stuff or even just me in general then uh, twitter is the place to do that so follow me on twitter there's links to all three of those uh, social media platforms in the description down below but there will be a my player episode later on tonight that will of course be a little bit longer because of course we record that live so uh, I'll be doing an introductory episode of that series as well this will be coming to you every weekday at 1 p.m. you'll be able to tell that from the schedule that is in the description and on the about tab of the channel page two videos every single day from me without fail so 14 videos a week so you know exactly what and when to expect stuff from me I will not let you down if you show the support to the channel that you have been over the past few weeks and months we hit 19 K the other day as well which is absolutely superb thank you very much for that and if we hit 20k perhaps I'll, uh, I'll do some sort of special video for that not yet decided but anyway that's this opening episode of the Chelsea career mode done and dusted thank you very much for watching like favorite subscribe comment and let me know who to buy and I will see you tomorrow